South Africa has a deep trade history with the European Union, but an impasse over false codling moth and fungal disease citrus black spot threatens to sour relations. The EU, which imports 37% of South Africa's citrus, is demanding cold chain treatment on fruits exported into the bloc, which local producers say is unsustainable. We've been trying to negotiate with the EU over the last eight or nine years in good faith. We've gone and we've got nowhere. In fact, it becomes stricter, more punitive every year. Although the EU recognized that the chance of that happening is very remote, never happened in 10 years. So in our opinion, it's just a mask trade policy sort of protection. The world's second largest citrus producer after Spain employs strict disease control measures and the finest quality fruit is sent to Europe. We have grown more than 60% in exports over the last eight years. So obviously the, the retail plus the consumers are actually love South African fruit. High in acid, high in sugar, lovely in color, mostly because of the sunshine. And that's grown tremendously. It has been very, very successful. The onerous laws could cut imports by a fifth and threaten jobs. And the industry has asked President Cyril Ramaphosa to step in and take the matter up with the World Trade Organization. We have 140,000 people working in the industry. If we really cannot access Europe at the current cost, the danger is that we lose half of our workforce, 70,000 people and 15 billion rand of foreign income. If you limit the demand or the supply, you have a huge impact on the prices. So margins are already under pressure, and if you limit uh, supplies, uh, it's going to put farmers under huge pressure. And for that reason, it's very important to have alternatives or to resolve those issues. The European Union is a lucrative market for South Africa, but the country is setting its sights on other markets such as Russia, Asia and the Middle East to make up for the possible loss should South Africa not be able to overturn the EU's decision. Julie Charest, CGTN, Cape Town, South Africa.